Hey everyone, it's Luca. So I guess I'm doing this talking thing now. I just felt it would be the easiest way to get all the information in this video across. Please remember, this is just one person's perspective on things. Feel free to join facebook.com slash group slash partners and patreon.com slash partners to take the discussion further. I'll leave links to both of those in the description. I've used a variety of academic and non-academic sources for this research, so take a look at what I read, watched and listened to in the description below to learn even more about shoegaze. I'll also include some recommended listening in the description, as well as the links to all the tracks featured in this video which are available to download through Bandcamp. Be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Shoegaze is a broad term to describe a genre or style of music that originated in the 1980s with the noise pop of the Jesus and Mary Chain and the dream pop of Cocktail Twins. Whilst the former were heavily influenced by the alternative scene in America at the time, with bands such as Sonic Youth and Dinosaur Jr. Cocktail Twins took more from the work of fellow Brits, such as Bauhaus and Susie and the Banshees. The genre found prominence in the Thames Valley in the UK, as the scene that celebrates itself. A term coined due to the often common occurrence of bands sharing members, as well as the musicians' tendency to watch each other's shows. Bands in this scene included Slow Dive, Ride, Chapter House, Swerve Driver and Lush. However, arguably the genre's most influential act and one that many see as the pinnacle of the genre, originated in Dublin, Ireland. My Bloody Valentine formed in 1983, and after success with several early EPs and debut album Isn't Anything, the band released what is seen by many as one of the best albums ever created, Loveless in 1991. So what does this music sound like? And where did the term shoegaze even come from? The shoegaze sound can be defined by visceral noise, which in itself is compromised of layers of distortion reverb, in particularly reverse reverb and a plethora of other effects, such as delay tremolo and phaser. There is arguably not another genre as closely associated with effects pedals as shoegaze. The genre's name derives from its player's tendency to look down at their pedals at gigs instead of at the audience. Listening to shoegaze is an emotional experience that takes up the listener's senses. Traditional ideas of musical showmanship are usurped by the use of noise as expression. Listening to songs such as Suvlaki Space Station by Slow Dive and The Cherry Pit by Pink Shiny Ultra Blast leaves the listener with a feeling of joyousness, an ecstatic joy an energy unable to define, in awe at the vastness of nature and the universe. All of this cannot be communicated through traditional musical language, and hence shoegaze musicians, in particular guitarists, turn to noise in order to best represent these feelings. Shoegaze music is categorically guitar music. The songs emphasise texture over structure. Unlike with traditional music forms, the human voice is not a central component of the music. Instead, lush vocals take up an ethereal form, appearing as an instrument, layered amongst and indistinguishable from the reverberated guitars of the genre.
For many shoegaze fans, there are three archetypical bands from which all things shoegaze can be traced. Slow Dive Sivlaki represents the dreamier side of the genre. My Bloody Valentine's Loveless represents a heavier, noise-driven side of the genre. And Rides, Nowhere, represents the pop side of the genre. From these three bands, we can trace the genre's evolution to the present day. As with the genre itself, the elements of each of these bands are interchangeable with each other, although in short, the sounds of Slow Dive can be heard in bands such as Pink Shiny Ultra Blast, Dive, and South Pacific. The sounds of My Bloody Valentine can be heard in bands such as Ringo Death Star, Fleet and Joys, and Pandora. The sounds of Ride can be heard in bands such as Flying Colours, Film School, and Lilies. In the 21st century, shoegaze is a global phenomenon and arguably more popular than ever, with bands as far afield as Russia, Australia, Japan, and of course, the United States. Its sound is one that has reverberated across indie music, in acts such as Always, Cigarettes After Sex, and Phaser Day. Hey, congrats, you watched the whole video, thank you so much. Here's some pedal partners points. They don't equate to anything in the real world, but my shoegazy love, that sounded sarcastic. <laughs> it's, that's Britishness for you, right? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. I'm so grateful for the support I get, it's awesome. Hopefully I won't be talking too much in the future. I'll just be gazing, you know. Be sure to check out Pedal Partners on Patreon, Instagram and Facebook for even more cool things. Links to those in the description. I'll be releasing the original music featured in this video on Bandcamp and head over to Patreon where I'll be discussing the next video of this kind with my patrons. Finally, there's some cool artists in the description I think you should listen to, so check those out. Thank you all so much, see you soon, keep on gazing.